everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Katie and for today's video, we are going to be doing a, another one branded makeup tutorial. Feature brand is Maybelline. I really do love Maybelline. They have such a good variety of all different products within their brand. They're so nice and affordable and they have such a fantastic variety of so many options to choose from of shadows and mascaras and foundations and lip products. I love, love the brand. And of course, I mean, half the time you can find them for buy one get one half off um, in like Walgreens and Rite Aid and all that stuff. So I really love the brand. I digged through my collection to see all the Maybelline products that I could pull out. And I was like, hey, let's film a video. So that's what we're doing today. Hope you click that subscribe button before you leave today and give this video a thumbs up if you like one branded makeup tutorials. Leave me a comment down below what you think of the makeup look. This is the makeup look that I came up with. And if you want to know how to get the look then of course just keep watching so I don't have a Maybelline eyeshadow primer on hand but I am going in with the master concealer for my primer just so everything applies better and more evenly and then I'm going in with the Maybelline nudes palette and I'm using a matte mid-tone brown color as my transition color I am going to be doing a halo type of eye so I did want to do the crease first and foremost I always do the crease regardless just so everything blends out much more evenly and I'm using a fluffy BH cosmetics crease brush for this Going in with the Maybelline Mega Bright palette and I'm using a royal purple color and now this purple color didn't quite give me enough pigmentation as I wanted to but um, little by little, slowly but surely, it, may, it worked out. So I'm just focusing on this, just the inner corner and the outer corner of the eye because we are going in with a different color on the main like center lid portion so I'm just patting this slowly um, again the pigmentation wasn't the greatest so I just kinda had to go back and forth a couple times uh, and pretty much made sure to see what I was happy with so just work kinda slowly and then I'm going back in with that blending brush just so you avoid any harsh lines and then I'm going back in with that palette with the gold color and I actually do have my brush wet with some setting spray and I'm using the other side of the brush and I'm just going back and forth just to blend out all of the colors seamlessly can't talk it's so early in the morning um, and again just going back and forth with that blending brush to avoid any harsh lines back in with the palette with the purple shade right there just to intensify the crease a little bit more and then the lighter shade on the brow bone just to have a little bit more of a completed look. And then a little Q-tip just to kind of clean up the outer areas. Fortunately, I do not have a Maybelline primer on hand, so I'm just trying to use up this Pixie primer. It's really good for pores. And for foundation, I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me foundation for the matte poreless. It's for oily skin. Has no pumps, so I kind of had to get it out the old-fashioned way. And you guys see me put foundation on a million times. You're just popping it all over my face, obviously. And this foundation actually is really nice. It's a light, medium coverage. You kind of can build it up a little bit. But I just love how natural it looks. I can get through a full work day with this foundation on. It doesn't make me break out. It doesn't make me look oily throughout the day. And I really do enjoy using it. And I'm just blending this out with the Royal and Langnickel, like toothbrush type of brush. I've been really enjoying this type of brush. I thought that I wouldn't like it, but I actually really do. So this blends out really easily. I, I really do love this. I would definitely, definitely recommend this foundation. The Better Skin Concealer from Maybelline, I am laughing because the entire like product name got rubbed off because it is a very, very well-loved concealer in my collection. And I'm just popping that under my eyes, nothing too crazy, doing a little bit under there just to kind of conceal any dark circles. For some reason, I feel like it didn't cover enough, but 
hey, I was filming this at 10 o'clock at night, so, um, you know, and I'm just pretty much just blending it out under my eyes, and yeah. I usually love to set my foundation and concealer before I move on to everything else, so I'm going in with the Dream Matte Powder from Maybelline as well, just to simply set everything into place. And for everything else, I'm going in with the Master Contour Set from Maybelline. I actually really, really love this palette. Really nice for traveling, everything on the go. So I'm just first going in with the contour bronzer color with a nice fluffy brush and just the bronzer area is pretty typical, nothing crazy. And then the blush in this palette is actually really, really pretty. It's a nice soft pink shade, not too crazy wild. This kind of gives that really nice, as almost if you're naturally blushing color. And sorry if the lighting change. Again, I'm filming this 10 o'clock at night, so I'm sorry if the lighting um, is a little weird right now, but I am going in with the highlighter shade from the palette. Um, and then for mascara, I actually dug this out in my collection. It's the first time I'm using it. It's the Lash Sensational Mascara. And I actually really, really do love it. It's a really good mascara. And then for lips, I really love, love this color. I feel like I need to wear this color more often. It is the shade Berry, Berry Bossy. Um, number 820 in their like vivid something ish collection. I'll have it linked down below, of course, in the description box. And that's pretty much it for the makeup tutorial. Let me know what you guys think. So, this is the completed look that I came up with. I really do love it. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know in the comments down below what your favorite Maybelline product is. I would love to know. And I think that's all I have for today's makeup video. I really hope you subscribe to my channel before you leave today. And don't be afraid to come say hey to me. I will have all my social media linked down below along with all the products that I used in today's video. And I think that's all I have for today's video. Happy Monday. I hope you guys have a great day. And I shall see you in my next video. Bye, guys.